Good Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to another Atlanta Brick Co. Hall, where we'll be covering everything that we got in over the weekend here, back on our processing table. So we'll uh, dive right in here. Starting in this first bin, looks like we got a couple uh, old city cars there. We've got some nice base plates here, including one of the old uh, classic space moon base plates there. That's pretty nice shape. Uh, underneath there, looks like we got a lot of instruction manuals, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see, Alien Mothership, I think that's an Alien Conquest set. And looks like mostly some other city sets down there that we may uh, go through and pull out some things of interest. Moving this way, there's a box for the bonsai tree, we'll see if that's here somewhere. Got a Luke's Land Speeder, uh, Arkham Asylum, that looks like a junior set. Looks like we've got some assorted minifigure parts here, so we'll probably go through those, see if there's anything in there we can put together. Moving this way, we got some Minecraft sets, as well as a Star Wars shit there. Looks like we got some Friends and Elves sets here. Those are very nice. Somebody will be glad to get their hands on those. Got some nice Pegasus uh, features over there. We got some Star Wars in this box down here on the floor. Looks like we got a Y-Wing, an X-Wing. And a couple of the helmets. Looks like maybe Boba Fett and Darth Vader down in there. We've got the uh, Iron Man uh, mech suit here. Got a big bin of some really nice Star Wars sets here. We got a handful of pod racers. We got that old uh, original X-Wing collection. It had the three X-Wings. And then right here it looks like we got the AT-OT with dropship. That's a really nice set there. So there's a dropship there. ATOT, let's see, Pod Racers, and it looks like we got the uh, final duel there. But down in this bin, it looks like we just got a bunch of bulk parts sorted by color, so those will be nice to add to our wall. We mostly use those either for commission builds or uh, to put missing parts back in sets. Looks like we got one of the Harry Potter Hogwarts class. Looks like the Herbology class there. Very nice. This is really nice. This is the Fantasy Era Castle um, Dwarves Mine, I believe is the name of this set. So you got those really big trolls there, lots of dwarves characters, and some mine carts that go in and out of the mine shaft. That's a really fun set there. A lot of nice play features. Got a Slave One ship here, as well as, I think that's the mm, Farnsworth House, maybe? Oh no, Villa Savoy there. Really, really yellowed condition though, unfortunately. So uh, we'll have to see what we're going to do with that. In this box here, looks like we got a Friends, some kind of party bus maybe. And moving this way, looks like we got some older Harry Potter sets. Maybe the Prisoner of Azkaban one. I see the uh, at least part of the Shrieking Shack here. There's some nice Star Wars clones in there. Let's see what else we got. I think that's the Sears Black Escape. This is the Marauder's Map. Oh, there's the rest of the uh, Shrieking Shack there. And looks like mostly some city besides that. Maybe the old Hogwarts from that time period. This box back here. Looks like a real assortment of stuff. Some city, some Minecraft. Uh, a little bit of hidden side down in there. So nothing too crazy. Yeah, some more hidden side back there. Moving on down this way, this looks like some bulk here. We got some Duplo figures sitting in the top there. That's kind of interesting. Looks like Poe's X-Wing, a Snow Speeder, some Space Police 3. There's some Star Wars hiding down in there. Here's a nice city passenger jet. Looks like we got some Hero Factor in here as well. Real mixed grab bag this week. A lot of stuff thrown in together. Got some construction vehicles here. This looks like, oh goodness. Is this a Jack Stone set under here? No, I see a minifigure. So not Jack Stone, but uh, something from that same time period anyway. And moving around this way, looks like we got another very large Friends set. And another Star Wars cannon there. Some more good Friends stuff. And let's see what we got in this box here. Uh, looks like some modulars. I see the pet shop. Uh, that's the other half of the pet shop there. Looks like the Parisian there with that olive green. And maybe the Palace Cinema here in the corner. 
as well as some more friend sets. Looks like a party boat there and some other friend stuff down in the bottom. So we'll have to see if we can get some of those put back together. And uh, now I will go out to the front and we'll cover some more stuff we got in over the weekend. Actually, before we head out to the front, here's a few more things that I think are new. We've got a uh, pirate ship here, as well as a... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that one. Some more friend stuff there. There looks like an ATTE and an ATAT -AT walker there. This Hogwarts, I know, has been sitting here for a while, but over this way, we've got an old pirate ship, one we don't see very often. We actually get the Black Seas Barracuda in pretty often, but this is the first time I've seen the Skull's Eye Schooner come in in a while. And I think a black pearl there as well with these black sails here. The black and white striped ones are the Skull's Eye Schooner. And then moving down this way, that looks like a, maybe a custom ship somebody did. Got a Batmobile there. Got a nice black pearl here. This one's already pretty well put together, so that'll be easy to put out for sale very soon. As well as the Stormtrooper helmet bust here down in the end. Here we've got a whole bin full of all sorts of different minifigures. They seem to all be individually bagged, but we'll kind of try and take a look and see how they're grouped. Uh, let's see, I see some ducks in there. There's the Tin Man. These seem to be more CMFs. There's the pizza costume guy, the green brick costume guy. So it looks like mostly CMFs in that one. This one seems to be a lot of Star Wars figures, a lot of Rebel Fleet Troopers, some Stormtroopers, some Snow Troopers, Han Solo. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, that's a good one. We got Galadriel in there. I see Gollum, some Elves. There's Gimli. Some Hobbit figures as well, some Lake Town people. And, uh, yeah, here, this is a good one. This one's got a whole bunch of uruk -hai in it. Somebody's entire uruk -hai army there in that bag. So we'll get all these uh, processed and checked for condition, and we'll put these out for sale very soon. Oh, there's a Nexo Knight. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't tell Mark. He's not here today. Looks like we got a classic Space Man in there. We got some Indiana Jones in here. I see Marion in there. Let's see who else. Oh, the Russian lady. I can't remember her name. Russian lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, is that, uh, uh, that's Jock, I think, was the guy with the plane with his pet snake. Uh, let's see if there's anything else noteworthy in here. That's maybe some more CMFs. There's the space guy. Banana costume guy. Ooh, the old elf there. That's a pretty early one. That's one of the first three series, I'm sure. All right, and then we'll pivot around to here. This is a whole stack of sealed sets. So we'll kind of run through these pretty quick. Let's see what we got. We got some friends. I'm gonna try not to knock the whole stack over. Some Minecraft. Mandalorian. Oh, that one's not sealed. Let's see, we got the, is that the No, that's not the McLaren. Chevrolet Camaro, all right, nice. Uh, Brickheads there, the Ninjago. Oh, that's the Ninjago 10 years one there. That's a nice three pack there. Uh, down here we got a Jaguar. Got the, oh, the Thai, uh, the Thai pilot. That's a really hard to find one now. We got two of those sealed. That's really nice. Uh, moving over this way, we got a couple poly bags up here on top. Some CMFs, a whole bunch more speed champions. Star Wars, we got the uh, Imperial Landing Craft there. That's pretty nice. The 20th anniversary snow speeder. This is the newer version of the tumbler. I believe that that one has been opened, and I believe it was missing the minifigures. Got women of NASA tucked back in there. Uh, some Avengers, some Creator. Thanos Ultimate Battle there, very nice. Got some architecture here with the New York skyline. Uh, there's the Children's Amusement Park, that was a gift with purchase, I think. The Cosmic Cardboard Adventures, that's a really good gift with purchase. Minecraft here. Uh, oh, the Monster Fighters uh, hearse, that's a nice one. And then some city, mostly fire. Uh, and there's the Harry Potter Quidditch match. Let's see. Oh, is that another another TIE fighter pilot? So we got three, no, four TIE fighter pilots. There you go. Somebody's really going to like those. That one's gotten pretty hard to find now. It's gone pretty pretty high up in price. Back here we've got, I believe, two sealed corner garage modular sets. So hopefully somebody will be happy to find that. Uh, there's some 501st battle packs. There's some more 20th anniversary sets here with the Imperial dropship. 
and the clone scout walker there on Thor's weapon quest. Very nice. All right, and then we got one last stack of sets we'll cover here. And okay. these sets here, I believe, have all been opened, but this is the Thor's hammer. We've got the Hogwarts icon set. That's a really nice one with a lot of fun accessories in it for Harry Potter fan. We've got the Dagobah training set there, the new Jurassic Park T-Rex breakout, the uh, question mark block from Mario, and City Missions Wild Animal Rescue. Very nice. And one architecture set down here, the London Skyline. So I believe that's going to about do it for today's haul. Thank you all for joining. If you've seen anything that you're interested in, you can feel free to give the store a call. We'll drop the phone number down in the description. Or you can go to our website, atlbrick.com, and uh, you can either chat with us there or you can shoot us an email at info at atlbrick.com if you're interested in purchasing anything you've seen here today. Uh, so thanks for joining, and we'll see you in a lot of our other videos later this week. See you later, everybody.